Hey guys, it's Brandy, and I haven't made a video in a while because one, I got too lazy, and I'm also at my grandma's house. Okay, so this video, I'm gonna do it differently, and um, I'm gonna tell you five ways to not start a conversation because recently I have been in these issues, and I thought I should share them. Okay, all right. So the the first one is don't put hey frowny face don't add frowny faces in general in conversations but starting a conversation with hey frowny face just to get their attention when you're re really not like depressed or anything it just makes it seem like you're seeking attention okay don't do that number two don't call the person sexy butt or better yet just don't talk about butts in the beginning of the conversation because i had a lot of that and with because it just makes you seem like you have a fetish for butts. So, <laughs> don't do that. Um, and I also had issues with people telling me about their, uh, don't know how to say this, with their um, issues with their urine and stuff. Just, just, I just told them that they're turning it into a fish so they would just leave me alone about it. <laughs> that That's... Brandy, life lessons from Brandy right there. If they're talking about something you don't want them to, just call, tell them that you're that they're turning into a fish. Problem solved. Okay, number three. I think I just said number three. No, wait, that was number two. I accidentally read off number three. Whatever. Um, so number three is don't call the person lame if they are sleeping or busy, and they don't want to talk right now. I had that issue at. Lately, at like 2 o'clock in the morning, when people, well, when this person tries to talk to me, I always get text messages. Even when it's on silent, my phone just keeps going off, so whatever. So I just learned to deal with it. Whatever. He's a butthole. Buttwad. Dweebus. Okay, number four. I'm guilty of doing this one. Is don't send pictures of outdated memes. Because I'm the only one who finds them funny. Chances are they don't. So don't send them memes at all. Because then you just get like. Just, just random stuff. That's in my folders. So just don't send. Memes at the beginning of conversation. Number five. I'm also worthy of doing. Or guilty of doing. It's don't spam the person. To get their attention. I mainly. Do that. Because I something important to say. And yeah. So the other day I spanned my friend Jordan with different forms of bro. So there was like Broosaurus, Broceratops, Duncan Bronuts, Broski, and like another 30 more messages going along. Rotato Chips was another one. Yeah. So, I wouldn't advise doing that, but it's pretty fun doing it. Because they just, they just leave you on scene until you're done. And then they get really angry with you. It, it's hilarious. You know, probably shouldn't. It just shows that you're a bad person, which I am sometimes. Okay, and here's a bonus one. It is no salad man. Okay? No salad man. Because I send salad man people eating salad to a lot of people <laughs> because I don't know why I find it hilarious that people are eating salad I don't know why I'm just <laughs> don't be like me and don't send people salad eating don't be like me and send people eating salads because they look so happy like go on google images look it up and you'll understand Bye.